Hello everybody and welcome. I believe this is episode 16 of my Tic-Tac-Toe Vortex campaign. I'm so close to a thousand gold to turn, it hurts. Let's see if I can get anything to boost up that income. I am four turns away from the final battle. This will likely be a pretty short episode. I know I've been throwing out a couple long ones lately. So I don't think anyone would be upset with a, a nice bite-sized episode. The, Saving, the Skaven clan down here has been repelled thanks to an amazing battle of Garrus holding down that flank by himself when uh, two Skaven armies ambushed him. So thank you, buddy. You saved us all. Over here, uh, Mazamundi is holding down the this shore, <laughs> the Forest of the Viper. Fallen Gates. Okay, I can get my landmark building. I can get some better walls and more money. And then I think I'll be good there. Tic-Tac-Toe is just going to... Um, yeah, he'll have time to heal up if I grab the Temple of Kara. Eh, maybe. Well, I'm going to do it anyway, and uh, I'll just deal with the consequences when they come. Now, yes. Upkeep production. I'll always take upkeep production. Unassigned skill points. Hexy got his Carnosaur, even though he's just been sitting here for a while. He did a lot of work earlier in the campaign. I'm okay with him just taking a break. I will see you all next turn. I have no idea where that other... Hey, why did my income go down so much? I must have recruited units. I have no idea where that other uh, big Skaven army went. Oh, I probably should have gotten this a long time ago. Oh, uh, whoops. Yeah. Oh, well. I'll have it now, at least. Settlement upgrade available. I will upgrade the Sentinel. And tic-tac-toe with three turns, he'll be able to recover from this, I think. Yeah, he'll be good to go in two turns. Temple of Kara, get that. Tic-tac-toe or Kroic will get... I just have to keep in mind that what I'm going into is the final battle, so let's do that. Settlement upgrade. Chotek. Mazamundi and Toxin will get Agility of the Lizard. Unassigned skill points. What you doing? So that's that. Unassigned skill points over here. Yeah, go for protection. I gotta figure out where that other army went. But there's only three turns. I'm not that worried about it. Corliss is gonna go take out the Vampire Coast. Nope, you're not gonna send just your hero. Your whole army's going. Your whole army is gonna go. Fight the Vampire Coast. Get out of that. That's what's the problem. Alright, get over there. Garrus. You're still garrisoned. You're okay. You can come over here and grab that wreck. No, stay guard this. Commandment available. I can get that. Very nice. And yeah, this is going to be a real fast... It's going to be a real fast episode, most likely. Um, for everybody who has been watching, I'm going to talk through this load screen or and turn screen. Uh, I do appreciate it. I've had a lot of fun doing this. Um, I've always liked to... I've always liked, I don't know, entertaining people. Uh, when I was a kid, I would have... Um, I had a tape recorder. I just record myself saying what I thought were funny things. And I would play them for people so they could laugh. And uh, the fact I was using a tape recorder also gives you a bit of a clue of how old I am. Um, but I've always enjoyed it, and I hope that you all enjoy watching this. The Bowmen of Orion have been destroyed. Excellent. They have been a thorn in my side since the game started because they were constantly about to go to war with me. But who destroyed them? That's the bigger question. Dune Kingdoms. I might just kill you, just for fun. Just for funsies. Alright, I got a thousand income a turn. Uh, no, they can stay. I don't really care. Upgrade Galbaraz. Settlement upgrade available. Temple of Kara. Let's get some money and upgrade that. Tic-tac-toe. No, you can't leave. You might die. There's a, an army of old ones. That's... Oh, sorry, old ones. What am I talking about? An army of dark elves. I can't reach them this turn. But I will chase them anyway because why not? All right, you go fast. Be the fastest man alive. Chase the Dark Elves. This might be an episode with no battles, but I want to do the Vortex 
the final vortex battle separately. I am going to fight this battle just so there is a battle in this episode. I will see you all there. Or I'll most likely talk over it. Yeah, Mazumudi's army is not bad. I mean, the three Scar veterans is a choice I wouldn't have done normally, but I had them there, so I thought it'd be fun. The Witch Elves are cool. I might make a, do a playthrough of the Dark Elves where I just use all the lady units. Just have a girl power squad rolling around the rolling around the world fighting everybody. But the Black Guard of Nagarond are they are tailor made for killing dinos. They are just so good at it. Uh, good bonus versus large, good armor piercing. And let's see if they spawn first so I can show. Oh yeah, they do. Alright, let's let's dip in. Let's dip in and peep. So these are the Sisters of Slaughter. They are whip infantry, the only unit in the game that says that. Except, ah, there might be another one. No, the Witch Elves are double knives. Yeah, uh, 38 melee attack, 61 defense, poison, and the Trial of Blades. So if they're losing, they get better. It's annoying. And the Black Guard of Nagarond is just going to sit and take everything you throw at them and not quit. So Mazamudi will kill them with his brain. And the Ruination of Cities, which is an incredibly underwhelming spell. Alright, Hero Squad, get over here. Uh, infantry on two, blob up. Or to just make a line. This could be interesting if I put them on four. Let's have them hide in the trees like that. Like so. Like so. Like so. There we go. Alright, are you flying? You are flying. Six, as you all know. Five, sing along at home if you know the words to this one. Four over here, I mean five. Line up like that. Seven, start taking shots as soon as the battle starts. Alright, let's do it. All right, I have the range advantage on them. I want to target down the black guard. And you target down those black guard. And you move forward to get killed by lizards. No, move forward to fight the people who are going to get killed by lizards. Alright, six go this way. Hero squad, charge them. Hero squad, charge them. Alright, good shots in. I mean, they're shooting the anti-infantry variant, which probably isn't the right call, because I can just... I'm too tough. I'm too mighty. Alright, nut them in place. Drop the ruination of cities right on top of them. Six go into melee and attack. Five. That's the ruination of cities. It's very cool, but it does go randomly. Alright, kill them. You kill them. Good hits on that. Alright, uh, who's over here? You need to move up and start targeting down them. Move up. Debuff. Are they gonna fall? Maybe. I want another banishment, but I just don't want to... I don't want it to roll all over the place again. It's gonna be a risk, but I'll put it right on top of them. It's better to do it with a net, but... Ah, whatever. Do what you gotta do. I gotta do what I gotta do. Good hits. It's kind of moving off target. That's okay. Oh, get out of there. You're done. Well, with that particular target. Move forward. Put some heals down on them. They haven't lost many models. They've only lost one model that's taken a ton of hit point damage. Alright, turn around attack there. Uh, debuff them. And now you and Zlack charge with your big personal Triceratops. Which I am so, so jealous of. Triceratops is my favorite dinosaur. The worst part about getting old is nobody ever wants to know what your favorite dinosaur is. But all of you know now that it's the Triceratops. Because I would ride him around and I would take home my groceries on it. I'm a very practical man. Alright, eat the witches. The most practical thing of all is eating witches with Tyrannosauruses. Uh, uh oh. Oh, she's on a cold one. No, she's on a horse. If she's on a cold one, I'd be mad. Alright, you don't get to run away. You get to sit still and get killed by Hero Squad. Get him. Get her, rather. Get her. Get her. Okay, now she's running. They're in March Sand, so they're all dead. Ooh, 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 Lizard Barrage. Lizard Barrage. One more, just kill her with the Lizard Barrage. Everybody, there she's, she's done. That was easy. 
lost 66, but these two killed nothing. These guys, I don't know why they're shooting on the inf anti-infantry variant. Even, I mean, these guys are infantry, but the armor piercing is just a better choice in that situation because it's going to punch through their armor. Where the anti-infantry variant does like five armor piercing damage, it's really more of like fighting Skaven or blobs of like zombies or super low tier units. Against that, it's almost pointless. Then you get eaten. That's what happens. To All right, well, that's what they get for invading me. Ooh, I win four battles. I get blessed skinks. I've gotten pretty lame blessed spawnings except for Jeff Goldblum. Everything else has been a letdown. Well, I'll see you next turn. I still can't find those cave and they might be sailing across the ocean somewhere. Oh, there they are. Uh-oh. Um, recruit one turn things. Okay. Well, I found them. Rather they found me. That's not good. All right. Some salamanders. Uh I need shielded units. That'll chew through them. Then, um, uh oh, <laughs> this is concerning. Well, can I recruit any heroes over here as well? Get another, no, that was a skink chief building. All right, I'm just gonna sit still in, in Talakwa. I can lose those other settlements. I mean, I don't want to, but there's one turn left. I'm not gonna risk everything now. I'll get some uh, more salamanders. That's a very strange army, but it might work. Lord Mazamundi. Uh, come back, defend Texawaddle. And Tic-Tac-Toe is all healed up. All healed up, ready to go. Uh, let's see, what can I do? I will get... I haven't actually used Comet of Casadora yet, but I'll upgrade that. And I want to make sure all there. It takes one turn to get a thing for the uh, assigned unit to actually get over there, so I gotta get it now. Ooh, okay. Poison attacks, that's good. War banner, I don't need that as much as something else. I'll put armor, no, I'll put charge bonus on it. All right. So just make sure everyone has the best stuff I can give them. Dragon helm is good, but. Ward save. That's so weird. Who has it? Oh. Ward save 10. Okay. Croak has all bunch of like unique stuff. Shield to Poltos. That's not terrible. Ward save 15. Casting item. Yeah, that's fine. Uh. Okay. Okay. Wound maker. Alright everyone, I'll see what these Skaven do, but if they don't attack, then I can launch my final battle. And this will be the second to last episode. And they finally got that speed boost I could have gotten at the start of the game. Well, I'll see you all, all next turn. Great warding is restored. Energy flows unhindered through the geomantic web. But the vortex remains in peril. The horned god of the rat spawn threatens to pierce the mortal veil. Forces gather on the Isle of the Dead where the greatest battle of our age will be fought. Well, as you saw in there, I have to go fight the final battle, which is going to be a big one, as you can probably imagine. And now I don't know why I'm losing so much, maybe because I'm cut off from the rest of my area. Well, Ain't that a shame. Well, everybody, I am going to end the episode here. I know this was a very short one. I just wanted to show you the ramp up to the final battle. Uh, it's going to be a good one. 
I'm already planning off some cool editing stuff I can do to make it a little more entertaining. So I hope you enjoyed this very short episode. Uh, please subscribe if you did, and like and subscribe if you did. All that good stuff. It's very late. I've been recording for five hours now. But I hope you enjoy it. So thank you very much. I will see you all later.